We have new video tonight in a high-profile case of murder. It shows the last known moments of Miami Gardens teacher Camila Russell and her accused killer. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has it. She is live at the jail in West Miami-Dade where that suspect is being held. Amber? And Elliot, that video is about an hour and 20 minutes long, so we went through it ourselves. Painstaking work. We picked out the crucial moments that appear to link her longtime friend to her murder. At 605 on May 15th, Miami Norland senior high school teacher Camila Russell pulls her car into Ernest Roberts driveway, her longtime friend and godfather to her children. Video shows her going inside his house but never coming out. Later on, Roberts himself is seen walking outside to his trunk and pulling out what appears to be two large bags. Soon after, police say Roberts gets into Russell's car and backs it into his driveway. But according to our news partners at the Miami Herald, his defense attorney argues the video is too pixelated to say he's the one driving her car. The lack of clarity in the video, however, doesn't sit well with investigators. They say they found her blood at the home where there was a strong smell of bleach. There was extensive evidence of a, a cleanup effort. Miami Gardens police say her body was found in a canal near Robert's home a week and a half after she disappeared. Records show she died from a blunt head injury. We all want to know that. It's human nature to try to find out how was it that someone so close could have done this to someone that was so loved by so many people. Investigators say a key clue that tied them to Roberts is a note. He's accused of writing to a co-worker at a different school, asking about chopping up a car and throwing the note away. Police say the motive is still unclear. And we're told that co-worker did not hesitate at all. They went right to police. As for Russell's car, it was later found behind a gas station. For now, we're live in West Miami-Dade. Amber Diaz, CBS4 News, tonight.